Well, greetings, tourists, citizens, wizards and other friends to Christmas at the Overlook. Yes, it is that time of the year again. We need to check boilers and, and you know, make sure that nothing freezes and stuff. It's gonna be amazing. I'm kind of... Ooh. I, I love the, the Shining movie. So, uh, oh, this is the difficulty. This is not the character we're playing. I see. Tony will help you solve this maze in no time. He solved the maze before, so this should be simple. You'd have to be an insane madman to play this. I think we all know what difficulty I'm gonna pick. And let's see here what this game is all about. I hope it's not just a maze. Oh, apparently it's just a maze. Wake up, Jack. Got somewhere to be. This is the Overlook Maze, your last resting place. To escape the maze, you will need to find all 20 keys to unlock the ghostly barrier. And remember, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Okay. How do I get, get away from here? Okay. But it's just a maze, so there's probably no twins here. There's, there's not gonna be... Oh. Oh, there's a key. Thank you. Are they just are they just lined up here? That would be a bit boring. But I guess we're not gonna see like the the twins on their bikes and all all that jazz. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something here. Because this would be would be weird if there wouldn't be any kind of danger. What oh <laughs> What was that noise? I guess I I was just I did get the scares a bit from that key. Because there was like howling in the background. If it's really just walking through that maze and collecting 20 keys, that's uh It's not the shining experience that I cut out for myself here, I think. This is, does remind me of Labyrinthine. This does remind me a bit of Labyrinthine. But there could be danger around the corner every second. What was that noise? There's a lot of weird noises here. I'm not sure if those are actually things out there, or if they just there to annoy me. And give me the feeling that there's something out there. But I mean, there were ghosts in the Overlook Hotel in the original Shining. Ghosts or ghouls or demons, I don't really know. Okay. What is that noise? Is there something coming for me? It does sound a lot like UFOs. Not that I know what those sound like, but I think they would sound like that. I know this is a labyrinth and this is a weird thing to ask, but am I walking in circles? I feel like I've... oh. Oh, that's key noises. I see. So those, those wobba wobba noises, those are keys. Yes, dead noises. I guess the key is over there. How to get over there, though. There we go. Thank you. Got six out of twenty. I wish there was at least like a a temperature meter or something that I could freeze, but I think I'm already dead. I think um, I'm already the guy who died in the labyrinth at the end of the movie. Major spoiler. But uh, yeah, if you haven't seen The Shining, you should definitely go watch it. Probably doesn't hold up so well compared to most modern movies in the brutality sense. But, uh, you know, it is a, a somewhat accurate depiction of a man drifting into madness. Oh, hey, that's the ghost barrier, I guess. And that's the maze, the overlook maze, yes. So I found the exit, which is good. Now I just need to find... 10 more keys and then we can go out of here I'm still wondering if there's things in here 
I mean, I keep hearing, like, a witch's cry. Yes, that cry. But I didn't see anything yet. Is this really just this maze? I mean, I love the soundtrack. But, you know, there could be... Could be more here than just a maze. Maybe the real game starts after we collected the 20 keys. Maybe it's gonna it's gonna turn into a haunted house simulator then. Maybe we can hunt when we can haunt the hotel. That would be cool. I mean I guess there's nobody here when it's winter time. Because uh that was that was the whole premise of, of the movie. They had to be there like just the three of them in isolation. To make sure that, like, the boiler doesn't explode and uh, that the, the water pipes aren't freezing over. But it were basically, like, Jack Torrance was the caretaker. And uh, then there was also his wife and his son who had the shining. And then, then there were ghosts and, and alcohols and, and other stuff. What is this ghosty sound I'm hearing? Oh, E. Nice. I'm not exactly sure why this is the hardest difficulty. I guess because there's no hints. I guess nobody's giving me hints about the keys. But uh nothing nothing too dangerous as of yet. Also I'm I'm dead anyway already, so why would I care? Nothing can kill me when I'm a ghost, except maybe for other ghosts. There's a key behind this wall. How to get there, though? And I guess this is the point of a maze. Not knowing where to get places. Okay, that was wrong. This is not how I get that key. Where the fuck is that key? Yes, it's right there. I know, but how to get right there? Is it maybe like here? Can I go here? No. No, no, no. This is not a thing that I can do. I've been here. What if I go back here? Is that maybe a way? Is that it? Yes? No? Maybe? No. Okay, so the key is behind this wall. Let's see here. This this is not this is not how I do this. No. Right. I've been through these two uh, these two branches like forever now. Let's see. What if I what if I keep going here? Is that maybe a way? Oh hey, what is this? Starfall. This sounds promising. Okay, behind this wall. Like maybe here. Yes, gotcha. Alright, just four more keys. And as of yet, no uh no spooky scary demon children. No barkeepers. No nothing. Not even Doctor Sleep. Which is the continuation of The Shining, just in case you didn't know. Thank you. It's a movie called Doctor Sleep that's also really cool. Uh, the main protagonist is the the kid of Jack and, and his wife. Danny is his name. I just remembered from, from the difficulty selection. Can I just go through here? No. Sad. But yeah, Doctor Sleep is like the sequel to The Shining, where uh, where Obi Wan plays Danny and revisits the Overlook. It was pretty cool. It's been a while that I've seen it. I'm not gonna lie, but it was a really cool movie. I mean, it has you and McGregor. Uh, that guy is just, you know, he's fucking Obi Wan. 
can't really go wrong with Obi-Wan. Except in the B simulator. <laughs> oh boy. Obi-Wan fucked me up in the B simulator. I think I have a clip of that. I should maybe upload that clip to my my clips channel. Oh, there you are! Hello there! Alright, just one more key. One more key missing. Wherever could that be? That is a good question, actually, because this mage is huge. It's, it's, it's huge enough that you can just sit down and freeze forever. Ah. There really is nothing in here. I kinda expected more from a game called Christmas at the Overlook, but what can you do? Maybe there is a, a plot twist once I find all the keys. And there is just one more key for me to walk through the barrier of light. And it's also just snow. I thought there was a thing there. I thought there was like a lightning thing there, but then it wasn't. It was just snow. Oh no! The horror. I mean, I guess for Jack it is pretty much the horror, because that's basically what killed him. He was just freezing. I guess he also had, like, something in his leg, if I remember correctly. I think something stabbed him in his leg. He was, uh... Oh. Oh, this is where I started. Hi. Yeah. Like he was, I... What the fuck is that word? He couldn't... He couldn't walk right anymore, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, that was a thing. Do you guide me? I don't think you guide me to the key, do you? No, this is I. Okay. Where's the last key? I can definitely see how this can turn you into a madman. But I, I really wish I I could check out the hotel. Like, I mean, the, the main part of the movie obviously takes place in the hotel. Because, uh, it's not super fucking cold in there. Like in this maze. I can't even hear key noises anywhere. Where the keys at? Show me keys! It was just like, this is kind of creepy when there's no music, but then the music started up again, so that's good. That's good. I think that's the original... That's the original music to the movie. Can I just go? You will need to find all 20 keys to unlock the barrier. Okay. Very unforgiving that barrier is. Doesn't cut me any slack. Maybe I shouldn't have played this on, on Jack difficulty, but I'm pretty sure I would be done by now with Danny difficulty. And, uh, I don't really know if this is really over after we finish this maze. I do hope not. I would like to see the, the hotel grounds. Where is the key? Yes, yes, I feel with you, screamy ghosty friend. Have I been all around the maze? I'm really not sure. Pretty sure there's like a, a corner or something that I haven't taken yet. And that's where the key is, probably. I, I guess that's how mazes work. You go, you know... You don't know where you go, actually. That's the whole fun of a maze. You just turn in corners, hope for the best, and definitely hope that there's nothing scary anywhere. But sometimes there's, there's probably gonna be scares, even if it's just other beings of your own kind that you don't expect to be there. But that's just how it is. You don't know what's around the next corner. Never do you know what's around the next corner. I got this key now, right? I think this was the place where I where I couldn't find anything. 
Yes, I don't hear key noises here. What do we have over here? There's also no key noises here. But maybe over there. No. Can't, I can't hear the key. I don't know what that noise is. Ah, I'm not even 100% sure how all of this sounds in OBS. <laughs> what if I go back here? Have I, I'm pretty sure I've been here as well. I think I came from this side to the skeleton at least one time. At least one time. Can I jump? I can jump. Why? There's not really actually a need to jump. But I mean, it's a nice feature. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people just don't play games where they can't jump, and this is not one of those games. I can, I can assure you, if you're one of those people, you can, you can definitely jump in this game. Just go ahead and jump. Ah. Okay, that's a dead end. Not a paranormal park though, was there? No, there was no key flickering. Kinda looked like key flickering for a second, but then it wasn't. Ah, I guess the map also doesn't tell me where, where the last key is, does it now? You would think that that's what maps are there for, but I guess the map doesn't even know where the keys are, because those are just for, for dead people, like me. Hello, I'm Jack Torrance, and I'm dead. Very nice to meet you. Ah, it wasn't as easy as I thought. All the keys are not just casually lined up in the middle of the maze. That is, uh, that is not a thing that's happening. Would be cool though. Would be cool to just, you know, have a have a hunch where the last key is. But there's always the last thing to find that's the hardest, because it's the only thing. You know, when there's a lot of things, you keep just happening upon things. But now now <laughs> only one thing left. And that is the thing we need to find that one thing. I... I don't... I don't know. Is this work or play? I'm not sure. I think I... Uh, I might be slowly descending into madness with this, but I... I guess that's exactly the right vibe you want from... from a... a shining game that takes place in the Overlook Hotel in the winter. That is exactly the overlook wipes that I that I came here for. A slow descent into certain madness. Maybe there isn't even 20 keys. Maybe there is just 19. And the guy who made that game is just it's just fucking me up. You can never know. Just have to trust in the developer that he put all the keys in there. But how can you be sure? You can never be sure. Aww. J plus N. Cute. Why do I... Why do I jump with left mouse button? Okay. So I guess... I guess I'm somewhere down here. This... Yes. I'm pretty sure I have been everywhere. Pretty sure I've been to that entire maze. Where the last E? Okay, I should be right behind the map now. I think. Can't, I can't hear key noises. That key noises? I think that's key noises. Okay, so I'm guessing the key should be back here. I think... I think, I think, I think. 
how to get there though. Oh no, that's that's probably gate noises. That probably wasn't key noises, that was probably gate noises. Which is unfair, I gotta say. That is actually really unfair. Uh, I don't have gate noises here. I have gate noises here. Probably because I'm closer to the gate. There is definitely gate noises. Is it? No, it's key noises! Nice. Found the last key. Now get out of this madness. Get out of this maze. Let's see if we can... We can, uh... We can adventure the grounds of the Overlook Hotel. Where's the outside? Explore is the word that I was looking for. Let's see if we can explore the hotel grounds. What's that? I keep thinking I'm seeing like key electric thingies. But then there's no electric thingies and no keys. Also I already got all the keys. I don't I don't there shouldn't be any electric thingies anymore. And where the hell is the exit? Get me out of this maze. I don't want to be here anymore. Where where exit? Oh no. I was so close, yet so far. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end I couldn't find the exit anymore and then I was stuck in this maze forever anyway, so what was the goddamn point? Ah, uh, okay. Where is it? Where, where are you? Where's the way out? I've... Oh, okay. Let me... I think I'm... Uh, I think I'ma just go here. And hope for the best. But they could have at least put like... You know, a bike somewhere. Just as a little easter egg. Do, do, do. Is, that, is that the hotel? I guess so, because this is the exit. Let me out! Let me out of this maze. And praise the black screen, everybody. Praise the black screen. His darkness holds wisdom. Ooh, neat. There is exploring to do. Is that fireworks? Yo, that's cool. Why is there fireworks for Christmas? Is that a thing? Who shoots fireworks for Christmas? Guys, what do we have here? Is the hotel just gonna be another maze? Can I go into the forest? Let me just sidetrack a bit. Okay, there's invisible walls. The forest is just an invisible wall. It was a it was a trick all along. Hello there, Christmas tree. It gets darker the closer I get to it. Oh. Oh, hi. Seems like quite the party you're having. Hello there, I can just walk through all of you. Well, hi, hi. Oh, hey, it's Santa. Hi, Santa. Is that a robot Santa? Or is that just a guy? Is that just a guy dressed as Santa, dancing all alone in this room because he can't see the ghosts? What was that? Who was... Who? Okay, the bloody elevators. Oh... 
red rum everywhere. I'm, I'm sorry, I why why is there no doors? <laughs> These toilets don't have doors, okay. I like the music, I gotta say. I really like the music. Great party, isn't it? Some ghosts are lost upstairs in the corridors. Go up and collect them. Bring them down and they can party forever and ever and ever. Well, at least until midnight. Move forward to begin the task. Okay, what about this here? What about the bloody elevators? Can I... Okay. Okay. Let's, that's, a, that's, that's a nod to the movie. Right then, let's find the ghosts. Let's collect them ghosts. Oh, hi there. Do I collect you? Yes. This is just another collection maze situation, but with Christmas music now. Okay then. Hello there. Good to have you all here, friends. Oh, hey, there's more of you. Guys, you all need to go to the party. We're having just the grand old time. The, the greatest times of our afterlife that is. Why, why are you all here all alone? There's nobody here to dance with. Don't you want to go out and mingle? After all, it's the it's the most wonderful time of the year. Hello there, friends. Gotcha. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm kind of missing the different floor patterns. Cause fun fact for the for the Shining movie. Kubrick was uh, shooting on different hotel locations just to make the whole thing look a bit more eerie and also make the hotel look way bigger than it actually is because like some scenes have different carpets room 237 oh dear you have awakened the scary ghost in room 237 and she's angry run back to the stairway as fast as you can okay I'm running I'm a running You're still after me? Yes, she's still after me. Oh no, not the bathroom ghost! Not the bathroom ghost. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm running toward a dead end. Oh, there's the stairway. I guess you can't follow me down here. Can you follow me down here? Yes, she can. Oh no. Maybe she can't. Okay. <coughs> Well, I guess I brought some new friends to the party. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Oh, we already found all 20 ghosts. Okay. But I also... I've also awakened... The... The bathroom spirit. Okay. What to do with those guys now? Do I bring those to Santa? Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas to you too, Santa. Was that, was that the right thing to do? Did I... Hey, It's Christmas at the Overlook by James Smart. I mean, it was a fun game, I'm not gonna lie. It, uh... You know, was just two mazes to solve, but it was pretty cool. I, uh... Made for the game left, unlocked game jam. Ah, okay. I see. I've heard of this game, Jam. Do 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 do. I think the game would have been better with some sort of hazards in the in the maze. It would have been cool. But yeah, it was definitely fun. I hope you guys had fun too, and I hope y'all are more interested in The Shining now if you haven't watched it already because everybody should have seen The Shining at least at one time in their life it's a great movie go watch it and yes thank you to I forgot your name for making this game and you know would be cool if there would be like a patch or something <laughs> an update or for more ghosts more spooky stuff but then it's a Christmas game quote unquote so I guess I get it 
but yeah, thank you all for being here, friends. Don't don't forget to do the commenting and subscribing. I I like I need more subscribers. <laughs> I need them. And yeah, have a have a good one, friends. Hope to see you all in the next video of whatever I make. It was a very PewDiePie thing to say, and I'm sorry. Bye!